shower. Um, I just left out this twist up that I had for like three days. And I'm about to do my, I guess, wash and go. Um, I used a non sulfate shampoo by Organic. Um, I just like finished it today. And so then I just put this um, Africa's Best oil, it's like a body oil and hair oil, all type of oil for moisture and um, hydrating. And then I'm using my Cantu leave in conditioning repair cream. Um, and so I'm about to section my hair off. Um, just so that I can evenly distribute it, distribute it um, throughout my hair. And then I'm gonna put conditioner in my hair. So I have about this much for a quarter of my hair. And get all in there and I hand tangle. Um, I'm trying to look in the mirror and do this at the same time. So Alright, so that should be in there good. Alright, and now put my hands on. And mind you, I didn't, um, when I got out the shower, I didn't dry my hair um, with a towel. I let it air dry. Um, now, uh, um, time to put the conditioner in to lock in the moisture. And I know everybody that's doing the curly girl method talks about cones and how bad they are. And I did some more research, and it's not necessarily that cones are bad. It's just like to get rid of them is bad because shampoos, the only shampoo that can get rid of cones have sulfates in them. And sulfates strip the hair of the nutrients and the moisture. And so it's like an ongoing cycle of washing with sulfates and putting cones back on your hair. So what I did is I looked on the ingredients of the mane and tail herbal grow with the olive oil complex and there is one cone in here hold on let me find it dimethicone and then I found out that in my um, shampoo the organic shampoo um, it has a ingredient that actually gets rid of the cone from the conditioner in my shampoo is sulfate free so I was like well you know, if it gets rid of the cone and it doesn't have to have sulfate in it, I might as well continue using it. So I just use this um, conditioner, and it's like really far down the list. It's like the ninth, eighth or ninth ingredient on here, so it's not like number two or three. So I just put this in my hair, and um, I've been using this for like a month now, and I love it because it holds my curls. So I put this in my hair. And comb through just like I do with the um, the can too, and the oil. And the thing with cones is, that, like, it people say the problem with cones is that they lock 
They don't let any moisture in. They create like a barrier at the follicle of the hair and they don't allow moisture in. But the thing is, if you put like a coconut oil or a shea butter or some type of moisturizing agent in your hair before you put in the conditioner, it locks in the moisture that you have already put in there. So yeah, the moisture um, you can't get in, but also the moisture that you put in there before applying your conditioner can't get out. So that's why I put the Cantu in oil in first um, before I apply my conditioner. That way my hair stays moisturized. I guess I'll show y'all how much conditioner I put in my hair. I have really thick hair, so uh, I'm putting it in the top, in the middle, and I just continue to comb. And comb, and comb, until it is evenly distributed throughout my hair. And I have been doing this for, well, I started my 20 day hair strike on April 10th and it's now May 1st so I've been doing this for almost 21 days and you comb Coming, I'm stretching too. So. One more for the middle because I feel like I neglected it. And I do this every other day. So, my wash and goes are two days a week. Or, yeah, two every other day. So, Tuesday, Thursday, and then Saturday are my hair days, my co wash days. Okay, so this is just how I get ready in the morning. Um, yeah, so if you guys want any more videos, let me know. Um, thanks for watching, and yeah.